Okay, today we are going to talk about how to give shades to uh, the shape we have just created. So, uh, according to, for now, we can see that uh, uh, these are the shapes which have single colors. For example, if I go to the layer and double click on this layer, I will see that there is only single color available, which is not gradient, which, has, which is only a singular color. Or any shade we can use. So we can't just simply make a color. Uh, we have to go into layers and go to layer style and go to color overlay or gradient overlay. Color uh, overlay is uh, basically the same thing. So I have selected on the top of the uh, top top uh, top shape. We will select the gradient overlay. Then. You can see the gradient is applied. There are different sorts of gradients here. If you see, there is black and white, there is blue. There are many other gradient colors we can use. And we have the opacity also, how much opacity, opacity we can use, which angle the shade should go, what type of gradient color should be, and if it is angular, linear, radial, uh, how much it should scale there are a lot of there are a lot of options here so <clears throat> it is very easy to make color now next thing is we, we are currently we have opened the layer style panel so we can use this panel to check other options as well so we can see that there is an inner shadow here you notice there is a line here now in the shadow we can increase the distance you can see or we can increase the size so there is a shadow inside of a uh, upper box we are currently going to disable this uh, uh, and we are going to apply ok so first of the layer has been colored as, as we can see the, the first layer is colored now we can we don't have to go through the all the processes for the next two boxes so we can simply do is right click on this and copy layer style because this is a layer style we have applied on the top of the uh, top of the shape so we are going to copy the layer style and paste on this other shape and we can apply the same thing on the other layer okay we have created the gradient color now we can simply click on the fx which is uh, represented here on the layer double click on this and we can change it a little bit so this looks don't look merged so double on the on clicking we will see this option we are seeing we can change it we can go into a darker so the color difference increases we are increasing the the above you can see we can add this this is opacity based controller so we can control the opacity of the uh, layers. So now I am going to change it entirely. I am going to make it a darker blue to make it look cool. Now I like it. I copied the effect. We can always change the color anytime, any given time. So this will look really great when we apply this. Now we have a very basic shape notice we can still move the object around now for the other method for the other this is a shape shapes have points if you can check i have a it has a point we can manipulate this so how can we color how can we color uh, an object which is not shaped first let me move this object someplace else now we take a marquee tool for example we take a marquee tool and create a new blank layer and now i create a rectangular shape using shift or without shift and now i take this simple basic gradient and fill it notice we can fill the color and uh, because this is a radial gradient we will go for a linear gradient Opacity, something happens to the opacity. Let me check. Okay, 100%. This is also 100%. It should work. 
but it isn't working. What is wrong now? Okay, there is something called mode. Mode, you should check it is on 16 bit. Uh, I am trying to find the bucket here because the tools have moved. In the earlier version, they were close by and now it, they have moved. Uh, they have moved the objects to different locations. So I cannot find the so shortcut key for is control backspace. The foreground color, this color will be pasted on this area. Control backspace. All right. Uh, we can also we can also you can see we can also delete the portion of the image by simply selecting and deleting. Hence, we can create any any shapes we like, and we can also color them by control clicking and selecting this place and control backspace for filling this color. So that's it for the for the uh, layers. I have told how to give color, and for the shape uh, for the shapes we create, we can also give colors by drawing the object. We can create. Anything. For example, I want to draw a moon. How can I create a moon? Very simple. First of all, we will need to have. Okay, we will do it on the next. Uh, we can create a shape like this. Then we can right click it and rasterize this. Rasterize means pixel base. We can change it into a rasterized form. And now. We can simply delete like this or we can use this. There are a lot of tools for now missing here. You can see that this is ellipse marker tool. We can select this and select this area which is a moon and select delete to create a moonlight effect. For example, I can take a color, background color and go to a background layer and control backspace to fill the color with a black background and i can control click to select this object and change the color either i can i can use control backspace or i could simply go to this panel and select a bucket where is the bucket now okay i can't find it lot of tools are missing i have to see what is happening here but okay we can use the control backspace to fill the color oh my god what did i do okay control backspace now same as before i can use the control t to rotate the object like this okay now with this shape i can also go into the layer layer style and create a bevel and emboss effect you can see what the bevel and emboss does to an object or you select the depth size and softness embosses outer glow because the background is black we can't see it so i am giving it a stroke and stroke size a little bit different and creating a color Fill color type can, could be gradient. So lot of things could happen here. We can use gradient overlay or we can change the color like this. Click on the basics, select this. We can double, we can click it, double click and change the color. Press OK and we can add other shades by clicking right here. On we can click and we can even control the effect of the black area from these points can you see okay we can increase and decrease the size press ok now we go to the drop shadow and we are going to give it a, dro a drop shadow of something different you can see that the gray color is showing we can give it a yellowish color let me check what happens okay now we can increase the distance, we can increase the size, spread, distance, we can even control it with 
our cursor. Okay? If we don't like the effect, we can change the effect. So this is basically where we can use these options. A stroke is basically stroke, outline color. We can give it a color pattern and gradient. Color means we can give it into any color we desire. You can see the outline color is changing into yellow. Okay. We can increase the size of the color. We can decrease the size of the color. So this is how we usually work in Photoshop, creating effects. Uh, this is this is the way we can create many uh, effects. There is also polygon shape. There are also lines. There are a lot of things. So uh, we can uh, study them later. But currently we are we we have finished the chapter in which we are using how to color layers and different shapes we create by using Marquee tool. I can show you again. Uh, I can create a rectangle for example here control backspace or the bucket we have to find the bucket then we can take the uh, we can uh, take the Marcus circular uh, ellipse tool and select this and delete it okay what happened uh, delete for in order to delete you have to select the move tool okay press delete so this is how we can create different shapes because they are on the same layer we can also move a particular object to another layer if it is if it is pixel control shift by pressing control shift j you see this is now a separate object and this is also a separate option uh, object on a different layer. So we can control every aspect of the drawing we make, every art, every clip art, every logo, everything we can make changes. This is basically layers. Okay, I want to I want to go to uh, whiteboard, whiteboard, Microsoft whiteboard. I want to show, show you a few examples of the few examples of uh, how I have created notes for uh, vector and graphic designing uh, on, so we can study also because the theory is very important to understand what vector based images are and what raster based images are. So we created in this file we created a raster based image and we also created a vector based image. So let me see if the notes are here, vector graphics. Okay. I have also created notes for, for studying uh, what these are. So in depth knowledge, if you want to continue, you can read because you have to read. Without reading, you can't learn anything, vector graphics. These are digital images created for serious series of geometrically defined points, lines and shapes. The key feature is scalability. <clears throat> we are currently not using Illustrator, we are using Photoshop. But few of the scalable uh, vectors are available in Photoshop. And huge amount of library could be downloaded from the internet to be used in Photoshop as well. Which will we will cover in the, our next uh, chapter. So, uh, software such as Illustrator, Corridor, and many other as vector based designing softwares can be used. And we can use the scalability, alter and edit the design ability. We cannot, we can change the scalability, we can edit the design as well in the vector format. I will show you how. Because uh, this is uh, a geometrical shell limitation, vector graph is not usually very realistic. We can create realistic images, but that requires a lot of colors and a lot of work. So, there are a lot of things and there are a lot of theories we can... We were working on a bitmap image, system that uses pixels to make up an image. Pixels, the small picture element that makes up an image. So, we were using the pixels to cut through a marquee, marquee tool by, by selecting and deleting. So, that is a pixel. 
there are lot of things lot of theories so i'm i'm pausing here so you could see you can read what the things are which are very important vector graphics this is the subject we are studying right now a, a vector graphic subject so vector graphics is a 2d 2d point description line and curve that there are property that are grouped to form a geometrical shape that's it thank you for watching my channel please subscribe my channel